guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. And a big shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. Yes, let me um pull this a little further down. Today is Multicultural Wednesday. Yes, so you know on Wednesdays I read books to you about different cultures, right? So today, before I tell you about today's book, I'm going to ask you to click like. I'm going to ask you to share my videos. I'm going to ask you to go to YouTube. Look for Audrey's Reading Area. Audrey's Reading Area. And smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right now. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5. And please subscribe. That's L I V E. Live at five, you guys. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. All right, all right, all right. Now, guess I will see. I, I'm, I'm going to just jump right into this book. Pow wow. Pow wow. Pow wow. This is uh, written by Linda Coombs, illustrated by Carson Waterman. Pow wow. On the back, it says Carnival. Oh, I guess these are other um, books. So I will just jump right into this story. It was, check it out. It was the first morning of the biggest powwow of the summer. Mmm. Tina Hawousey. I think I said it wrong. How wow sweet thought as she awoke to the smell of coffee and bacon cooking. Feeling the crisp, cool morning air, she snuggled into her sleeping bag for one last minute. We all know how that goes, right? We know how that is. So let me put on my glasses so I can read a little better to you guys. T-I-N-A, there's hot water in the basin, she heard her father call from outside the tent. Hurry and wash up before the boys get out here. She poked her head out of, the, out of the tent, squinting in the bright early sunshine. After washing and eating breakfast, Tina said, I'm going to find Joni. I'll be back before grand entry to get dressed. She hurried past the other ca campsites and vendors stand stands. Joni and her family were Penobscot people from Maine. They made moccasins. Got my moccasins there. They made moccasins and ash splint baskets. Tina, Tina's family, the Hawauswees, were Wampon, Wampon, oh my goodness, Wampanoags from Massachusetts. Wampanoags from Massachusetts. They traveled all over from one powwow to another during the summer. It was the only time the girls got to see each other. Oh. Tina, over here, shouted Joni from her parents' stand. I was hoping you would get here early. We still have time to walk around and see who's here. I'm so nervous today, Tina said. This will be my first time competing. You? You shouldn't be nervous, Joni said. You are a good fancy dancer. You remembered all those steps Laureen taught us, her friend said. And besides, everyone in your whole family is a great dancer. Mmm, beautiful. Well, I do have a new reg regalia. The only thing is my moccasins are getting so small. Look, there's Mary Wolf Runner. They came all the way from South Dakota. This powwow draws so many people from other parts of the country. The girls wandered from booth to booth, admiring the beautiful crafts for sale. There were ash and birch bark baskets from Maine and Canada, turquoise jewelry from the Southwest, and beautiful woven sashes and bags from Central and South American tribes. Nice. Nice. 
Luis, Luis, or Luis, Tina's older brother, appeared out of the growing crowd. Where have you guys been? Mom was worried, he said. She, good morning, everyone, interrupted the MC over the loudspeaker. Welcome to the sixth annual powwow. Attention all dancers, please remember grand entry will begin at 12 p.m. sharp. Come on, Lewis said. I'll treat you to Navajo tacos before we get dressed. Or would you rather have buffalo burgers? Oh, I couldn't eat a thing, Tina answered. I'll just go back and get into my regalia. Okay, Joni said, I'll see you at grand entry. Mm. Tina's dad was just putting red and black paint on his face when she got back to camp. Tony, her younger brother, was putting on his new regalia. His outfit, which he had helped his dad work on, was red, decorated with black tipped felt eagle feathers. It had two bustles, and the beadwork was re a red, yellow, and blue design. Louis, better hurry or he won't have time to get dressed and braid his hair, her dad said. He stopped to get something to eat, but he'll be here in time, Tina answered, going to the, into the tent. As she got dressed, she remembered how her mother and Aunt Sue had helped her work on her regalia. She loved the way the dress felt so silky and cool against her skin. The flowers on the shawl reminded her of wildflowers in the meadow. Tina reached into her bag for her moccasins. She noticed a little hole starting at the toe of one of them. She made a face. Whatever is the matter, Tina, her mother asked. My moccasins are too small and one of them has a hole in the toe. 15 minutes to grand entry, 15 minutes, dancers, announced the MC. Tina felt bad. She knew the judges scored people not only on their dancing, but on their whole regalia. We have to get in line for grand entry, Tina's dad said. The Hawaii family began to head for the arena. Just then, Tina heard her name being called. She turned around to see Aunt Sue standing by their tent. Aunt Sue had a package in her hand. Come here quickly, Tina, her aunt said. Tina started started back towards Aunt Sue, but she stopped in her tracks when aunt when she saw what Aunt Sue, what her aunt had in her hands. She had made Tina the most beautiful pair of high top moccasins with floral beadwork that matched her shawl. Aw. Aw. It took Tina no time to get her old moccasins off and the new ones on. Tina always loved grand entry in the opening ceremony at the powwow. Today, she felt proud to be dancing for the first time with people from all over. Mashpee, Wampanoag, Nar Nar oh my goodness, Narragansett, Lakota, Apache, Mi'kmaq, Ojibwe, Cherokee, and many more. When the opening ceremony was over, the crowd heard um, inter intertribal. Everybody danced over the loudspeaker. Announcements were made for the crow hop, sneak up, and other dances. Wow, beautiful. Everybody dancing, all the tribes. Everybody getting together just having a ball. I love it. Finally, it was time for the dance competition. Tina held her breath when the men's fancy dance was called, but she shouldn't have worried about her brother, Louis. He won first place, $1,000 that he would add to his college fund. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, it was time for the fancy shawl dance competition. Tina gave Joni a big smile and then looked down at her new moccasins. It was now or never. See her new moccasins? Aren't they cool? Nice, right? 
Once the drum started, both girls danced and danced. They held their arms out and their heads up, hoping the judges would score them well. Tina felt comfortable and confident in her new moccasins and danced really high on her toes. After the song, Tina was surprised that the judges asked her and two other girls to dance again. Joni passed her as she left the arena and whispered, don't worry, you're doing great. Good luck. Tina smiled and danced again, forgetting how tired she was. Wow. When the dance was over, Tina and Joni waited together for the judge's decision. Girls Fancy Shawl Dance, third place, goes to Tina Hawaswi. Second place goes to Rita Ayala. And first place goes to Paula Stevens. Tina could feel her heart pounding. Isn't that funny? I have a sister named Rita and a sister named Paula. Audrey should have been up there too, right? I'm just saying, Audrey should have been in it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. We knew you could do it, her mother said as the whole family crowded around her. Tina beamed with happiness. She had learned a lot today about carrying on native traditions and she was very proud. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. The end. Here's a glossary of the words from this book. Penobscot, powwow, regalia, wampanoag, Intertribal, Hawaii, MC, bustle. Wow. So hopefully you'll pause and read it. Pause and read it. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for listening to me read fun, exciting, and different culture books. Yes. Shout out to my mom who is here. Always here showing all this love and support. Thank you. Thank you, mom, for being here always. All right, you guys, it is time to end. Time to be over and out. Time to say, please, please like my videos. Please, please share my, vid my videos. Please, please go to Audrey's reading area and smash my, yes, that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right now. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow, here at Audrey's Reading Area. Don't forget, tomorrow, Audrey's Reading Area. Live, L-I-V-E, live at five.